Hi, I'm Rebecca, and in this film, we're going to have a look at how to convert fractions into decimals using division. Now, previously, pupils will have worked with fractions where the denominators are factors of 10, 100, and 1,000. And they can use that easily using their knowledge of equivalent fractions to solve problems. But that might not always be the case, so let's have a look at how we can do it. Now, to convert a fraction into a decimal, you simply need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's have a look at using a fraction where the denominator is either a tenth, a hundred, or a thousandth. That's a really good place to start. So if we take the fraction three tenths, for example, we need to divide three by ten, and pupils will have their knowledge of place value, knowing that the answer would be 0 0.3 as the three goes in the tenths column. Similarly, if we had a fraction such as eight thousandths, they would use their knowledge of place value to know that the eight would go in the thousandth column, giving us a fraction, a decimal, of 0 0.008. But what about something a bit more difficult? Here, I have the fraction 3 eighths. So I need to divide 3 by 8. And I can't do that in any other way other than using something like the bus stop method and short division. So I've put my numbers into the bus stop but because I'm going to get a decimal answer, I need to turn my three into a decimal. So I've given it three zeros to help me. And now I can start dividing. So how many eights go into three? Well, there is zero. I'm going to put my zero up here and make sure that I put my decimal point in lined up with the other one. Now I'm going to carry my three ones over into the tenths column to give me 30 tenths. How many eights are there in 30? Well, three eights are 24. So I can put my three up here. And I have a six remaining, so I'm going to put that in my hundredths column, giving me 60 hundredths. How many eights are in 60? Seven eights are 56, so I can put my seven at the top. I have four remaining, so I'm going to put that in my thousandths column, giving me 40 thousandths. And how many eights are in 40? Five eights are 40, so I can put my five here. And I've finished dividing. So here, we can go back to our original fraction, Three eighths as a decimal, well, three divided by eight gives us a decimal of 0 0.375. Sometimes your pupils might get a, an answer where it's a recurring decimal, and at that point, it's a really good idea to teach them about rounding to two or three decimal places. So there you go, that's how to convert a fraction to a decimal using division.